Yo, man, so I'm back with some more details in regards to the situation with Usher, Chris Brown, and Tiana Teller. And I some very, very close sources say that the whole situation stems from when Chris Brown was set to do a Michael Jackson tribute at the American Music Awards and Tiana Teller and Sierra was set to do the tribute with him. But due to some prior obligations they had to back out, Chris felt some type of way about that and him and Tiana are supposed to be cool. Since then, they allegedly have had bad blood. Things just boiled up at the party. Now, Tasha K spoke to someone directly. Now, we know Tasha K, you know, she, she's been known to fabricate some things. But so many different people have sources about the situation. So I'm going to let her give her version because she spoke to an exact source from the party. But after that right there, I'm going to tell y'all what's going on with Usher and his injuries. Yeah, my dog. My dog Usher got some injuries, but he has a lover and friends fest tonight. And guess what? He's still going to perform. But Chris Brown is set to be on that show, too. That's going to be interesting. We're going to come back with those details. Smash the like button, subscribe if you're new to my channel, and turn on the notification bells for updates just like this one right here. Tasha K, take it away. I just got off the phone with someone who is right at the center and knows all the parties involved at the party that Usher threw for Chris Brown. Literally just got off the phone, okay? Here's what happened. Do you remember, I think it was the American Music Awards or the VMAs, one of them, they were supposed to do, they were supposed to use Chris Brown to do a tribute to Michael Jackson. Okay, do y'all remember that? And Michael Jackson, I mean, uh, Chris Brown was planning a production and everything. Um, Tiana Taylor, as well as Sierra, was supposed to be a part of the tribute going down both of them later found out that they had commitments that they could not get out of so they told chris they couldn't do it but because chris is closer to tiana he felt like slighted like oh um why are you pulling out and then you know what i'm saying like we we best friends like she they are so close that even regarding the rihanna situation uh, Tiana Taylor will, will take up for like Chris Brown. He felt some type of way because in his heart, he felt like Tiana maybe got the message about the American Music Awards not using him, right? And so he felt like, oh, he felt slighted. He felt disrespected. So he's been mad with her ever since that situation. Now here's what happened at the skate party that Usher threw for him. Now him and Usher have the same teams. The only difference is, like team, management team, all that. The only difference between him and Usher is Usher is marketable. Chris Brown is not. No one wants to fool with Chris Brown really on a mainstream level because of that Rihanna situation. Now, Usher did the whole invite for the party, paid for the party out of his pocket. Here's where things get sticky. They had the party. Chris is lit. They say he on a few things. He lit. Tiana's at the party. Instantly, he changed. So the whole night, he been throwing shade at Tiana. Then eventually, like, she got tired of it. He told her to get the fuck out my party. Get the fuck out my party. Now, mind you, Usher personally invited Tiana to the party. Usher was like, hold on, hold on. No, 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 no. She not going nowhere. Tiana was like, no, nah, it's cool. It's cool. I'm leaving. He literally calling her all types of bitches, hoes, fuck you. You ain't this, you ain't that. So as she leaves... You know, Chris is getting upset at how Usher handled the situation. Usher follows Chris outside. There's no security following them. They go outside. Usher's talking to Chris. Chris is lit. Fucking Chris's team sneaks Usher from the side and they jump him. They beat his ass over him not liking what Usher had to say. So Chris said, get that bitch out my party right now. Usher said, hold up, hold up. Wait a minute, put that on everything. You don't mean that. What'd you say? Say it again. No, we can't do that. I'm coming to talk to you and got his ass. So yes, that's what happened. Okay, so you guys wanna hear more about Tasha K's take on that situation. Go to her channel and check it out on Wild with Tasha K. Now, what's going on with his lovers and friends fest? TMZ has been in contact with sources, and they're saying that Usher is not going to let what happened with Chris Brown affect his performance later tonight in Las Vegas because the guy is taking the stage regardless. So they're saying that he was indeed injured. His nose and face are kind of jacked up right now, but he's going to power through and put on a good show. But 
would expect for him to be covering up a bit with glasses and things like that but they also say that he has some possible injuries to his ribs and shit it got kind of real for usher now here goes my quick take on this whole situation from what we have learned right now one we are so far removed from the situation with chris brown or yana if people have decided to fuck with chris brown since then there's no way that it makes sense for them to stop rocking with him now i don't see it possible so that leads me to believe that there possibly was an actual issue with Tiana Taylor's schedule that led her to not being able to do the shit. Because I don't think that, oh, she finally felt that she couldn't be friends or couldn't pull through for Chris Brown anymore after doing it for years. When there was nothing huge that happened to cause some friction out of nowhere. You guys may feel differently, but that just doesn't make sense to me. This is my personal opinion, though. But I can not understand when you feel like your friends don't pull through for you. It's just like, damn, dog, you're supposed to be my homie. You ain't pull through for me. You could have made this happen for me. And that's supposed to be a big thing for whatever reason something else may have happened behind the scenes that makes more sense on chris brown's end for him to be truly upset at tiana from what we hear it's not enough for me but it ain't for me to understand i'm just giving a take on what we have right now but as far as the altercation at the skating rink chris brown once again you gotta understand the optics and we could tell that usher understands optics and that's why he's had the success that he has had in his career. That's why he is marketable and Chris Brown is not. So when Chris Brown is sitting there in a public situation going off on another woman, Tiana Teller, and it's not on no simp shit, it's just it's understanding the world and understanding that you are Chris Brown and you already are running into issues from something you did when you was a child as far as being aggressive with a woman. Usher is seeing the situation playing out like, yo, Brown, chill, bro. And I'm pretty sure he's thinking business-wise. He's thinking image-wise. Chris Brown is not thinking in his right mind at all. He's allegedly drunk as hell, and he's allegedly on some other shit. Allegedly on that white shit, you feel me? But you still got a big bro right there trying to reason with you. Now, fellas in the comment section and stuff like that, I know a lot of times y'all want to ride with fellas no matter what, but at the same time, you got to hold your brothers accountable and look out for your brothers. You see your brother in a situation, you see him mid mistake, you trying to hold him down like, hey bro chill let's walk away from the situation because we understand what's at stake usher has never had anything similar to the situation before happening in his career chris brown has had it several times so i'm sorry i'm going to take the person with a better track record in regards to handling possible confrontations rather than the other person i see has had issues with letting things like this blow up so with the brother trying to tell another brother, chill, relax, and then that turned into that brother jumping on him, beating on him with his crew, that's not cool. We have to hold each other accountable. Being emotional men is not a good thing. Yes, it's a human thing to have emotions. You don't have to like everything, but your character, your character really shows based on how you react on your emotions. If you feel like you gotta go and just explode and beat everyone up and everything like that, you are weaker than you think you are. You are mentally weaker than you think you are. Because once you calm down, the adrenaline goes away, you start to realize that opportunities are going away. And then who really loses? Who really loses in that point? Think about it, brothers. Y'all gotta think about this type of shit. And it goes from the scale of someone on Chris Brown's level all the way down to the random dude that's in the hood right now. Just you don't control your actions after you have a real emotional situation. That's inevitable. It's okay to get upset. But your actions then leads you to do something stupid. And now you lose opportunities and opportunities such as freedom, employment, respect, trust. So many different things, bro. Y'all gotta think deeper, bro. But let me know what y'all think in the comment section below. I'ma go ahead and get up out of here, though. It's your boy Stacy. Yo.